Good morning. I am still alive. I've been living out of my Tesla Model Y for over six months, and uh, to say the least, I've gotten to know it pretty well. Uh, and I'm six foot three inches tall, a little taller than uh, than average, maybe a standard deviation or two. Uh, so today I'm going to share kind of a hands-on look at how much space there is in a Tesla Model Y. And uh, if you're considering buying one, this should come in handy, or if you already have one, eh, maybe you'll learn something new. Uh, but before jumping in, uh, we'll start with the front trunk. I just wanted to give a really quick update. I'm just south of Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. Uh, I'm back to camping out of the car per usual, although I was down in the Bay Area and uh, Los Angeles, and I was staying with some friends and family. Always great to catch up. And now, I'll, after this, I'm going to be heading north, so maybe I'll see a few of you on the road. Okay, so jumping into the front trunk. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up. So in the front trunk, I will keep uh, dirty laundry. Uh, this is a basket for that. A lot of climbing gear, shoes, um, anything that'll smell, because what's nice is I can keep the smell down in the main cabin of the car by keeping dirty clothes and shoes in here. So a great little feature to a Tesla. Now jumping into the front seat of the car, um, there's a ton of headroom uh, being six foot three inches tall and still all this space. And I could probably lower the seat another inch or so. Uh, I just like to have a little higher visibility. Um, and there's a ton of space in the front. Uh, there's a lot of space here in these compartments. Uh, and I'll keep a wide range of things in there. Um, yeah. So, okay, let's, let's jump to the back and I'll show you how I fit in. And a quick side stop before going to the back. Uh, here in the side, you can see there's a lot of space. I have a little lantern and a few other things in there. But in between the front seat and the back seats, there's a ton of space down here. Um, here I have a backup tent. Some campsite areas do not like people sleeping in cars, so I've used that a few times. Uh, it's good backup, a little temporary cooler in there, and, and a ton of space. Okay, but now going to the back, I keep it pretty simple. Uh, it's been ironic. A few people living out of vans have called me a minimalist, um, <laughs> so I got a kick out of that. Uh, but. Yeah, so I have a pretty basic um, camping sleeping pad, which I can blow up as I go. A, a pillow, having a good pillow is crucial. Uh, getting good nights of rest on the road is important. And um, here in the sides too, there's a ton of space. Uh, it goes pretty deep, so I have a lot of backup food, a little bit of whiskey, <laughs> which I really haven't had much of. Um, and here are some granola bars. I, and, and various things. And then in this compartment, there's a ton of space as well. I can almost fit in this back trunk. I have a backup bucket with, uh, with extra water, um, some shampoo, uh, there's some laundry detergent to the side, a toolbox, first aid kit, car emergency kit. Uh, so yeah, that's been, that's worked out pretty well. And here I have uh, backup mobile connectors for the Tesla. Uh, and yeah, to get in the car, I'll just jump in, scooting back, and there we have it. Pretty easy. Uh, so this front seat, I haven't moved forward, have not moved it forward. Uh, being six foot three inches tall, I can lay out completely flat with this part closed as well. Um, but I'll often go at a slight angle, it gives me just a little more room. And uh, yeah, what's nice, of course, with an electric car, I can keep uh, temperature control on throughout the night if I want. Most nights I don't use it, uh, but I won't have to worry about toxic fumes with leaving like a gas car on. And yeah, the, the top roof is pretty amazing. My window's pretty dirty, but still some pretty cool views. Uh, if you have any questions about camping out of a Tesla Model Y, I've learned quite a bit doing over six months of it, uh, please let me know uh, in the comments. And as always, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap the like button as well as subscribe. Uh, that helps me out as a small creator. So I hope to see you next time.